thinking, making decisions, and forming judgments. There are three main factors that influence our decision making and judgments heuristics, overconfidence, and belief perseverance. Representativeness heuristic is judging the likelihood of things in terms of how well they seem to represent particular prototypes. This may lead us to ignore other relevant information. This is a decision-making shortcut that employs the use of past experiences to guide the decision-making process. Naturally, relying on past experiences can be beneficial and allow for quick conclusions to be reached, but the cost of being able to make quick decisions is oftentimes accuracy. Here are some examples. If an older woman is described as caring and warm and loves children, one may guess that she is a grandmother. If you look at the photos on the right, the dog may match your prototype of a dangerous animal. The big teeth and the intimidating body will probably want to make you stay away. It is possible that the dog is very friendly, but the quick representative heuristic causes you to stay away from it. The same could go for a bunny. It could look innocent, but end up biting you. Another type is the availability heuristic. This is when you estimate the likelihood of events based on their availability in memory. When you are trying to make a decision, a number of related events or situations might immediately spring to the forefront of your thoughts. Like other heuristics, the availability heuristic can be useful at times. However, it can lead to problems and errors. Certain events often lead people to believe that such events are much more typical than they truly are. Here are some examples. After seeing several news reports about car thefts, you might make a judgment that vehicle theft is much more common than it really is in your area. Many people were afraid to fly after 9-11, and incidents of crashes, robberies, abductions, and other crimes make people believe that the scenarios occur more often than they actually do. Overconfidence is the tendency to be more confident than correct. We tend to overestimate our knowledge and our ability to predict and on a massive scale. The overconfidence effect does not deal with whether single estimates are correct or not. It seemingly measures the difference between what people really know and what they think they know. For example, if asked to forecast oil prices in five years' time, an economics professor will be as wide of the mark as the zookeeper will. However, the professor will offer his forecast with certitude. The same situation could go between a weather forecaster and your average Joe. Both really don't know the answer, but the weatherman will most likely say it with more confidence. Belief Perseverance Phenomenon Belief perseverance. Clinging to one's initial conceptions after the basis on which they were formed has been discredited. Most people have tried to change someone's belief, only to have them stubbornly remain unchanged. Here are examples of the belief perseverance phenomenon. A man has gotten in four accidents during a span of a month, and yet he continues to believe that he is an excellent driver. One may believe the Eagles are the greatest team in the league, and continue to believe that even if their record says otherwise.